Hello everyone, it's Yvonne back to do your bonus read. I'm running a little later today, I um, which I've done a couple of times this week. I have trouble sometimes uploading things um, where I am, so it sort of made a little bit of difference, but I get there. So if it, they seem to be coming through later, there just doesn't seem to be anything I can do at the moment. All right, we're going to use the Shadowscapes Tarot for your reading here today. Oh, which I haven't used for a while. What's jumping? The Queen of Wands. It's funny because what's cracking reading was very Queens of Wandsy. Um, certainly like really knowing your value and standing up for what you believe in. So let's see what's coming up in the bonus read here. All right, now we have the Knight of Pentacles coming through here. So there's somebody coming in here with some sort of offer, but they're moving very, very slowly here. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, but more than likely this person is really thinking out their journey. They don't want to do anything rash. They want to take their time. They're focused on what they want to achieve here. This is a person who's thought through everything. Um, it's not a person who's rushing in like the swords. It's not a person who's rushing in for their own means like the wands. This is someone who's thought through everything they want to do and they want to make sure that they're doing it correctly this time. Wow. All right. So we have here the five of wands. Now, the five of wands is an energy of conflict. Sometimes it can be conflict with other people, but more often than not, it's about conflict within yourself. So you may be like um, considering doing something a certain way, but maybe that doesn't quite fit with what you want. So you may be going backwards and forwards trying to decide. So, you know, if you want to make somebody an offer, for example, you might be thinking, is it you know best to do it this way or best to do it that way? And that can create some conflict within you. So I feel like this is what's happening here. All right, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles coming through with the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords making a lot of uh, sense lately with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like here somebody's coming as a Nine of Pentacles here. I feel like you're getting a backup reading on the What's Cracking reading. It feels like to me somebody is thinking of coming towards you or is coming towards you with that Nine of Pentacles. This person, whatever they're doing, they know they have to do it right, possibly this time around. This isn't a person who's going to just rush in. This is a person that maybe in the past hasn't really always done it the right way. This is a person who's going to make sure, no matter what, that this time around they do exactly what they're meant to do. So if, for example, you've been dealing with somebody who um, you've been maybe dating for a while, who never seems to get things right, if it's somebody returning to you, whatever it is, this person has really thought through how they're going to do this this time. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who's had a change of heart because they're feeling a lot more connected to you or a lot stronger feelings for you. So they may have been flitting in the past. They may have been unreliable. They may not have been really serious about the relationship with you. But I feel like this person's seeing your value now and they want to offer you something more. I really feel like for some of you, this may be commitment, um, but I really this person's really thought it through to make sure they get it right this time. All right, so we have the Five of Swords here. So the Five of Swords, for me, is a card. It can, it can mean selfishness. It can mean um, taking what's yours and leaving people with nothing. Um, for me, it's sort of always that, you know, getting a victory, but not always feeling good about what you've achieved. So sometimes we have to walk away from things, for example, even though we might not want to. Maybe we're dealing with someone who's very selfish or self-centered and we need to understand how to maybe get their attention on us or un understand that we're serious about something. So sometimes we need to just say, you know what, I'm not dealing with this anymore unless you pull your socks up, I'm, I'm walking. So I don't feel like it's an ultimatum, not like that sort of energy. It's about respecting yourself and understanding your own value and saying, well, you know what? You know, this isn't right for me. What you're doing doesn't suit me or isn't right. You're not respecting who I am as a person. So it's very much the energy of walking away from something because you feel that you don't want to deal with it anymore. And I feel like you may have done this with this person. 
You may have said to them, this is just not working for me. You know, I deserve better treatment. I deserve for people to treat me in a much better way. Um, what you're doing here is not really, it's not the right thing to do. All right, and then we have the Queen of Swords. Wow, all right. So you're really sort of like cutting it out here. Um, you could be dealing with the Libra Gemini Aquarius here, but you're saying to somebody here, I'm done. Um, you're communicating really effectively. You're saying, I'm done, I'm finished, I'm walking away. So I really feel like you're dealing with somebody here or have dealt with somebody in the past here who really hasn't been serious about your connection. But you never let them go either. And we have the world card coming through. Okay, I have to say for some of you, this person may live at a distance to you or live away from you and may not have been perhaps paying you attention that you deserved. Um, for others of you here, I feel really strongly that you're not, you haven't let this person go. So you've done what's right for you. You've stood up for your value. You've said, I'm not putting up with this, but I feel like you still hold strong feelings for this person. This person is really still sitting in your heart space. So I feel like here, although you've completed this cycle, what you've done is you've said to this person, unless you sort of make, make the right moves, I'm not sticking around for you here. And you've closed out a cycle. And quite rightly so, if somebody's not treating you well, you can't continue to do something for them. Why keep putting in the energy if you're not getting back what you deserve? I do see the moon card here. So I feel like even though you've done this, there's still this energy of feeling a very strong affection for this person um, and feeling a lot of love for this person, but realizing that you can't be treated this way. We have the justice card here as well. Look at the major arcanas in the middle and the four of cups. You're saying no to something here. And it's good because the justice card is here. So this says to me, especially with the moon card, that there is change that can be made here, that you do need to stand your ground. You do need to stand up for your own value. And I'm feeling here with the four of cups, you won't accept anything less now. So whatever work you've put in, whatever you've done here, you've done for the greater good of yourself. You know, it's really funny. I see somebody on the website saying they've rejected all of these people over the years, which is fantastic. But at the end of the day, you need to start questioning why you're attracting these people. Because we think that we're attracting all these people in that aren't sort of serving our needs or, you know, doing what we need for what we value about ourselves. But at the end of the day, if you keep repeating that pattern, you have to come to a point where you say, well, hang on a moment. What am I doing here? Why am I bringing these people or attracting these people to me? Because that ain't just coincidence. So I feel like here, this is what you've done. I feel like you've walked away from something and said, no more. There's healing here. You've done a lot of healing and you are not prepared to put up with it anymore. Two of Pentacles, look at that, with the Eight of Swords. I can tell you exactly what you've done. You've understood that your heart is open to someone and that loving someone is really, really important. But you've balanced your logic here. So even though the loving component is really important, you know, to feed your own emotions, you're starting to understand now you have to look at this from a more practical view. You can't keep investing or loving someone if they're not giving back. It's creating too much head pain for you, like you're absorbed by this. It's staying in your head, you're thinking about it all the time, and it's really difficult to let this person go. But maybe in pulling back your energy, maybe in saying to this person, I'm not putting up with this, is enough to make this person realise how much they want to be with you. We have the hanged man right at the end here. So I'll get some more cards to put on that to have a look and see what's going on. I really feel here that somebody is coming in to make a more solid offer. I feel like your person has deliberated, but somehow has had some sort of change of heart. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy coming through here. I feel like this person has perhaps not dealt well with the fact that you've pulled back your energy here. 
I feel like they see the potential in this relationship. They always did, but maybe they're just used to treating people poorly. And maybe now you've said you can't treat me that way. This person's obviously trying to get into their own nine of pentacles energy. So this is sort of something you've done for yourself, but you've made a shift in this person as well. Because I feel like this time around, they're going to be very serious about this. They don't want to lose you here. And I feel like everybody deserves a second chance. But if you've been doing this several times with somebody, maybe they don't deserve your energy anymore. Maybe it is time to pull up stumps and move on. The hanged man tells me you're definitely thinking about what to do here. I feel like you don't know whether to take this offer and take a chance on something. I do feel that this person is very passionate about you, but there's also this Knight of Wands energy. You know, are we going to go around again? Is it going to be the same way this time? I don't think people necessarily understand that perhaps... You know, that they deserve to be treated better because they've maybe never known how to be treated well. And maybe through this healing now, you're attracting a higher level energy. So it's very possible that for some of you, you may be getting somebody brand new coming through that is now matching your energy. But you're certainly not going to put up with what you've put up with before. But that's because you've changed. And because your energy is different and you're vibrating differently, you're pulling in a different kind of person. All right, so I have the two of cups coming through. So here, that tells me with the hanged man, you're actually looking at here, what sort of love do I want? What is the love that I'm looking for? And can this person provide this for me? Can they meet me now where I've evolved to, where I've healed? Because I don't feel here especially with the magician. Oh, and we have the empress behind that with the three of cups. Look, I feel like here you're getting somebody coming in here, whether this is somebody you've already known or whether it's somebody brand new. This person's really wanting to put in the work this time. And I feel like here with this two of cups and this hanged man energy, that that is what you wanted. And you're getting what you wanted here. All right, let's pull an oracle card for you. there wants to come out go to the sea to the sea to the sea all right seven let's see what that says for you mm -mm -mm -mm. oh look at that this is about being in the flow returning to source this is through the healing you've done here recognizes how pieces fit together and a natural pattern of events isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life where events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. Now I have to say to you, I want to read the relationship meaning here because it feels very relationshipy to me. There are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. So I feel like here... You know, I talk all the time about a relationship between two people being three components. It is about you and your individual interests. It's about your person and their individual pursuits. And then it's about both of you putting energy into the relationship. So I feel like here when they talk about combined goals and desires, that this time around you want to do something with your person that you both do together rather than always sort of fighting each other to be on the same page so for me this card is saying if you go with the flow 
work with your person don't fight against it that doesn't mean you don't stand up for yourself when the time is right nice meaning Alrighty, righty i'll leave you with that thank you